Welcome everyone, this is Common Account. Today we're going to be talking about a certain character in the Transformers Bumblebee movie. Now this will contain spoilers, obviously. Um, unfortunately, a fan favourite character perishes early into the movie. And there's actually a really good reason why. Now, although the character has been receiving a lot of deaths recently throughout the Transformers franchise, there's actually a good symbolism to why he died in the movie. So, without further ado, let's get straight into it. So yes, unfortunately, Cliff Jumper perishes into the movie by the hands of Dropkick and Shatter. We saw him very early in the film during the fall of Cybertron. Cliff Jumper is without a doubt one of the most badass and toughest Autobots on the team. Well, Sometimes. And I'm just glad that he looks exactly like he did back in Generation 1. He's got the iconic head sculpt and everything like that. In the scene where we see him again, when me and my friend was watching that, we looked and instantly knew that this guy was not going to survive. My friend Lewis was crunching his fists by just knowing what was going to come. It's just a big indication. When you see a ripped arm, you know, like that, you're like, yeah, this guy isn't going to make it out of there. Shatter is trying to interrogate Cliff Jumper to get some information on the whereabouts of Optimus Prime, where's new bases. He isn't giving up though, he keeps on repeating that my name's Cliff Jumper and he is a lieutenant of the Autobot Resistance. During the interrogation, Bumblebee's location is unfortunately revealed, and well, Cliff Jumper is no longer of use to them. In a very brutal way, he is split open by Dropkick. And it was really gruesome actually to see the eyes and then they just fade and as they just separated his body and then you've just got Shatter sort of smirking there. Really just show you that the Decepticons mean business. And well, let's get into the reason why Cliff Jumper had to die. During an interview with Up Rocks, Travis Knight, the director of Transformers Bumblebee, explained the reason why they picked Cliff Jumper to die. The interviewer says to Travis Knight, I'm guessing you had to let people know that the Decepticons mean business. His response was, you have to understand that if they encounter Bumblebee, particularly in the state that he's in, much for this movie, where he lost his voice, he lost his memory, he can't really fight, he's just trying to find his way. And Cliff Jumper is very similar to Bumblebee as far as their size and what they do. And again, that's all by design. That's essentially what they would do to him. He would not meet a very nice end. But you have to understand that if they encounter him, that's bad. It's really bad for our hero. Things are not going to end well. And it's also on some level a subtle or not so subtle nod, depending on your viewpoint, to the 1986 film, which I remember when I saw it was essentially destroyed by. They murder every single one of our favourite characters. Travis Knight just goes on about, yes, oh my god, they killed off Optimus Prime in that movie. See, when you understand it from that kind of point of view, the kind of symbolism a little bit, like the sort of, like, yeah, Cliff Jumper, the same size as Bumblebee, you know, Cliff Jumper, he is a better fighter than Bumblebee. Which is why it's kind of good that Shatter and Dropkick ended up being paired with the military, because if they found him by himself, in the state that he was in, they probably would have just killed him. And well, we do see him actually beat Bumblebee up when they encounter him later in the film, when they're at the military base. You know, it's a part of the movie where, oh yeah, Dropkick literally just shot Bumblebee, he's dead now. Thankfully he came back to life, but it just kind of shows how weak he was in that scene and like, yeah, this is kind of building up to that. We do not want the Decepticons to catch up with Bumblebee because they, they're going to do to him what they exactly did to Cliff Jumper, and nobody wants that. And Cliff Jumper really is the best choice because he is like the exact copy of Bumblebee who just painted red and a different head sculpt. Of course his personality character is very, very different, but like it's always been that joke within the Transformers community about how, you know, obviously the same are Bumblebee and Cliff Jumper have like brothers and etc. And yeah, damn, Cliff Jumper just can't take a break. You know, first it was that gruesome death in Transformers Prime and now we've got him in Transformers Bumblebee just being split in half. At least we got to see shots of him in action and, well, he didn't give up to the Decepticons. Anyway guys, that's the reasoning behind Cliff Jumper's death. I know regardless, people are just not going to like that because Cliff Jumper is a fan favourite. I completely sympathise with that. My friend was just absolutely crunching his fist by looking at me. I'm like, I, I looked at him and I was like, yeah, he's not happy because Cliff Jumper is one of Lewis's favourites. Even though I know what you guys are going to put in the comments, do let me know what you think in the comment section below. If you're new to this channel, be sure to like, comment, subscribe and click that notification bell to get all updates, especially on Transformers, instantly. Until the next video, guys, this has been Common and Cam, and goodbye.